welcome to lesson eight in the creation of our school management system using excel and word in our previous lesson we dealt with how to um, design the database for the uh, teachers um, MS information that is the table for that so in this lesson we're going to deal with how to design the fees payment database table so without much ado let's just dive right into it so yes click on this plus sign as usual to create a new sheet double click on it just to rename it so we name it fees collection it should be in caps fees collection good so we can just give it a tab color so you right click and go to tab color give it a color of your choice so i think we are done with that so we go ahead and start feeding the information that that, that is required of us so with this uh, let's start from here let's see um yeah so we start with the admission number of the student so adm sorry sorry adm number and we move on to the name of the student we move on to the class the student belongs to the class will determine the fees of the student so we go to gender then we move on to admission date then we move on to fees then we move on to now the fees depending upon how the payment structure of the school is if it is going to be paid in installments the system will take good care of that so what we are going to do right now is this we assume that it's going to be paid in installments so we're going to create three or four columns for payment in installment to to be able to get executed so we take this as installment one or oh, that is the first installment and we also have installment two and we have installment three and finally we also have installment four depending upon the payment structure of the school whether your school or any school of your choice is how that is how you need to design accordingly so it could be that the, the payment installment should be within five parts so in that case you need five columns installments one two three four and five for that but like in this case we're dealing with what four so we have installment four as the last one let me see installments one two three four good we are good to go from there we move on to the amount received so as we pay the amount that is received by the finance department will also be taken care of so we type here receive then we move on type here balance and then finally status this will tell whether you are done with your payment and you deserve receipt or you still owe so basically and um, that is that so let's just go ahead and then complete with the designing staffs and all that so let's just dive right into it with that so we just select um so okay before that let's just adjust the various uh, so also admission number is okay with this way then we expand it a bit sorry expand the name a bit the class to expand it a bit then gender we expand it a bit as well then admission fee we expand it a bit so admission date right rather right. expand it a bit and then date itself to expand it a bit good i think sorry the fees rather than we expand it a bit so we now begin the expansion of our installments so this is installment one so this is okay installment two so we can really adjust it a bit again we have installment three this way installment four this way then receive should also be this way balance should, should go this way and finally payment status should also take it this way good so let's just select the entire row and give it a formatting or format it 
gold so you can just uh, give it a color okay let's give it a background color first so i think this color will be ideal and then test color i think should be white so that it can look good in it so we want to center the text we want to change the font style to times new roman we want to increase the font size we want to boot the font and all that so that is we can still re adjust our various um, cells in that order so let's just still adjust it a bit admission number name is okay class is okay fees okay so install installments so we're going to look at installment two two check on it installment three installment four and then the receive section balance section and then the status as well so we are good to go with that so now let's just uh, give it a heading from here you can just uh, select this or up to this and then you can merge it and center so you can just type the test of our choice here so you can see fees payment database Fees payment database so we can just increase the font size we can change the font style to times new roman we can bold it give it a background color uh, i think okay let's go with this deep color and then text color should be white i think this looks okay Fees payment database so done with this and then we proceed and check on uh, the the button that will using to trigger the form that is the user form in which we're going to input uh, our information concerning the fees so we're going to do that right away so let's just go to insert and go to shapes and you choose um, this shape and just draw the shape very nicely like this it's okay so you can just right click and then edit text so we like to check and update fees so you just type check slash update fees so with this when the form is launched you can either check for payment status you can also do the checking of the payment status on the table here you can also do that by triggering out the form and then you, you do the checking there as well so let's just select the text here and then format it appropriately so let's go to the home tab you would like to center it bold it change the font uh, style to times new roman as usual I'd like to drop it down a bit just to center it appropriately so we can now just uh, select the entire button then we give it the formatting that it requires so we check on this let's see i think this looks okay good i think we are good to go sorry let me just edit the text fees sorry fees and all that check and update fees think this looks good we're going to assign a macro to that so when we come to that um, level we'll see how we're going to do it so now let me just confirm something that is concerning the student's uh, details the number that we are going to do is 600 right so let's just check on that we make sure you do the same thing to the fees but depending upon the number you have selected it could be that the number here is larger than what i have here it could, yours can be thousand two thousand or whatever so you check on that before you know what to do so say you're going to 600 so we're going to check on that and make sure we get that so let's just select uh, the entire um so let's just go ahead and check on the numbering so now we need 600 so if that is the case let's go up a bit we've already subtracted five rows so we check on that so we need 605 just to cover up the so i think this looks okay 600 will be okay for us good i think this is okay so you can just give it all borders so you can just select here let's go to all borders now let's give it a background color but before we do that let's just uh, get our button here before we forget of it it, it, it happens so we need to be very alert on that let's get our home button here so that after everything we can just click on it and then this link us to the home tab so we go to inserts 
when you come to shapes, you get for the same shape and then just create a shape here. Very simple. Just right click and edit text, then you type home. So you would like to select the text. You would like to go to the home tab and then center it. Then we go to the font style to Times New Roman. We want to bold it a bit so that you can also you would like to also change the let's see okay let's go to the formatting tab here and then check on how to the style to choose or the design to choose with this so i think this looks good so with this we can just click on this and this will link us so we can just do that right away from here right click on it go to hyperlink make sure place in this document is selected then you choose home from here so with this the more we trigger the button here this link us to the home page Code. so that is that let's just go back to it. this collection database so let's just select the entire fields here and then give it a formatting it deserves so we do that right away okay so we end here so we need a background color very nice one of course and be something like this will be appropriate so we would like to format the text that will be entered the times new roman as a font we would like the font size to be 12 we would like to bold the font we would like all the text to be in center so we are done formatting that so we follow all this and then you do that so from there i think we are done creating the table for the database that is for the fees so we'd like to end this here and then in our next lesson we're going to see what we shall be creating so until we meet again in our next lesson, so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to save your work.